Meantime, a New Orleans nonprofit wants to increase the amount of green infrastructure in the city of New Orleans, and they're doing it by planting trees in Pontchartrain Park. As WDSC reporter Morgan Lentis explains, this pilot project, it could become a citywide strategy, strategy to combat climate change. Her story is part of our ongoing Forecasting Our Future coverage. Pontchartrain Park is a community with deep roots, and soon they'll be even deeper. Well, I agreed to join the board if Seoul would agree to plant up to 750 trees here in historic Pontchartrain Park. Councilman Eugene Green is working with Emily Stryber and the rest of the team at Sustaining Our Urban Landscape, or Seoul, to reforest New Orleans. The city has lost more than a million trees since Hurricane Katrina, a fact that is more noticeable in some neighborhoods than others. It's harder to live where it's hotter, makes your energy bills more expensive. Um, so planting more trees is going to cool down some of those neighborhoods. We all know big leafy trees like this one provide so much relief on those hot summer days, but they have other benefits too. A fully grown bald cypress tree can drink up to 880 gallons of water a day, and that's just one. And when we're planting a whole street full of those cypress, that's really going to drink a lot of that water. Like a long press drive and its surrounding subdivisions, hundreds of trees have been planted already, and the group has a goal of planting at least 800 more by spring. Councilman Green hopes this is just the beginning of a larger citywide initiative. This is really going to serve as an example of what we can do throughout our city to mitigate our flooding. You can't stop the entirety of flooding in our city, but you can certainly mitigate it for certain sort of rain events where we've been having problems historically. Now, in order for this project to work, they need volunteers to help plant the trees. There are two upcoming events where you can help do just that. We have the information on WDSU.com. In Gentilly, I'm Morgan Lentis, WDSU News. All right, Morgan, thank you. And Seoul, which is a nonprofit, started its work back in 2016. To date, volunteers have helped them plant more than 6,200 trees. Yeah, their efforts have focused primarily in Algiers, Broadmoor, and now Gentilly.